What's up YouTubers, Hardworker12 with you here. Gonna make a quick video today showing you how to set up and use Apple CarPlay with iOS 13. We happen to be in a 2019 Subaru Forester Sport. So you have to plug the phone into the USB port on most new cars. On this particular car, the bottom USB port is the one that does the data. So if it's not setting up right with your phone and your car, make sure you have the correct USB port. Now, we have actually already plugged this phone into this car. So now all we have to do is plug it in again, and the Apple CarPlay is going to show up. If it's your first time connecting Apple CarPlay to the phone, you will need to unlock the phone and click Allow to set up the Apple CarPlay and allow it to work. That's all you need to do for the initial setup. So the interface is different for the new iOS 13 Apple CarPlay update. As you can see, we have kind of the map on one half of the screen and then you have some other things you can do over here as far as your music. And I can select you know different stuff here if I wanna look at the music as a big screen. If I hit the maps, it'll show me the map as a big screen. Searching for where you're going is similar um, as it was before, but you can hit search here. It's a little more obvious, and I can either type it in if I'm not moving. I can hit the little microphone here to use voice commands to find something. I can scroll through this to see the sort of common things that a person might search for, or what is the safest and most common to use when you're driving, somewhere on your steering wheel, you are going to have a voice command button. So on this car, it has this icon, which I call the talkie face icon. And over here, you can see the microphone icon. Depending on whatever maker model of car you have, you may have this one instead of the talkie face. So if you need to go somewhere using the Apple Maps with your Apple CarPlay on iOS 13, in my opinion, easiest way to do it is just push the talkie face button. Find me a pizza place. One possibility I see is Pizza Hut on West La Palma Avenue in Anaheim. So there we go. Now we can find a pizza place. And one thing that you might have noticed when I push the talkie face button. Navigate to 2775 Mesa Verde Drive East, Costa Mesa, California. Getting directions to 2775 Mesa Verde Drive, East Costa Mesa. At the bottom of the screen, it showed the little uh, voice bar when I was talking to Siri. We're not actually going there, so we're going to turn that off. Starting route to 2775 Mesa Verde Drive, East. Oh, okay. Proceed to South Euclid Street, then turn left. And I can just go here and end route, since I don't want to go there. Another cool thing you can do with the maps on uh, Apple Maps for iOS 13. If I hit 3D, we're in 3D. If you prefer that, it's now available. So let's say you're using your Apple CarPlay and you get a text. You'll get a little message that looks like this. Larry said, what's up, dude? Want to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? What's up, Larry, you dork? Your message says, what's up, Larry, you dork? Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. And just like that, Larry Larson gets the text message. And if you're driving and you want to proactively send a text, Text Larry Larson and tell him that he's still a dork. Your message to Larry Larson says he's still a dork. Ready to send it? No, I want to change it. What do you want to say? You're still a dork, Larry. Your message to Larry Larson says you're still a dork, Larry. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. And just like that, Larry knows he's still a dork. Apple CarPlay still has kind of the old school menu. If you hit these eight blocks right there in the corner, you get to this menu. 
and we can go look at our music. They did improve the music now. We can look at our library. It's a little bit easier to see your songs, artists, playlists, whatever you want to look at. We can listen to the A-Team, ASAP Rocky, whatever it is. Uh, if I go back here, this is kind of the home button now. Um, they also added your calendar. So all the stuff that you need to do, you can look at on your calendar. Go into some settings, read your text messages that you haven't read, all that fun stuff. One other thing about the new Apple CarPlay and iOS 13 in general is the dark mode. And we've actually been using this in dark mode the whole time here. But if I go into settings, I can choose always dark or I can choose automatic. So that is what non-dark mode looks like. It's lighter. If you have other apps on your phone, if you kind of push that there, you'll see uh, you can use Pandora. You can also use Waze and Google Maps uh, if you don't like Apple Maps, although the Apple Maps now with this screen is better integrated, I think, into the whole Apple CarPlay experience. So anyway, that is an overview of how to set up and use the new Apple CarPlay with iOS 13. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.